What's up guys, it's Dallas from Dallas in Wonderland and today I am at Epcot's UK Pavilion and I'm gonna go on a hidden gem which is known as the Tea Caddies Twinning Tea Self-Guided Tea Tour. That's a mouthful, always is. from the Rose and Crown Pub and right beside the International Gateway, you'll find the Tea Caddy, which is the Twinnings Tea Spot. And what many people don't know is that Twinnings Tea and the Tea Caddy have a self-guided tea tour that is totally complimentary and it's worth giving a shot if you're ever in the area or walking through the UK Pavilion. So you walk in and normally they give you a pamphlet, which is like a scavenger hunt-esque kind of experience, but today they are out of the pamphlet. Maybe it's not as hidden as it normally is, but clearly it's uh, something that people do enjoy doing. But with this pamphlet, you have to find each individual tea throughout their tea garden. And once you find them all, they give you some free tea samples inside the tea caddy. Now right behind the tea caddy is where you'll find the English Tea Garden, which as you can see is presented by Twinnings London. And let's start our uh, self-guided tour here. Very easy, we got one right beside the sign here. The chai pumpkin spice already sounds fantastic. And right there we have some information of that particular tea. Now you'll see for Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival, we have other various markers here because that's just what we do for the Flower and Garden Festival. So we have cinnamon, allspice, camellia. And of course we have one of our Epcot icons here, Spike. Never seen that before, so that's a really cute uh, little gem right there. We love Spike. All right, y'all, so we walk across a bit to the next marker, which is a classic. We got Irish breakfast, black tea. Sounds fantastic. Walking over from the Irish breakfast, we have Lady Grey, which might be my new drag name. Just kidding. By the way, I do drag. That's the thing I do also. And yeah, the Lady Grey black tea. So we have black tea, bergamot, orange, and lemon. And then, of course, that marker for a lemon scientific name, citrus limon. It was incredibly hot just a while ago. Now it's actually very, very nice out. It's like the perfect temperature to walk through the tea garden. I feel like they did this just for us. Right here we have the life cycle of butterflies. Very interesting. And for those that don't know, there is also a butterfly tent at Epcot for the Flower and Garden Festival in which you can actually walk through the tent and see live butterflies and just stroll along with them. It's quite beautiful actually. In fact, I should definitely post a video of that as well. A guide to tea grading. Now what I love about this is that you're not just getting various teas and what's in the teas, but you're also getting a small insight on the whole process of creating these teas. Steps of tea production, you got plucking, withering, and steaming. See, it's things like these that really intrigue me and make me want to uh, look more into the whole process. Like I, I've never envisioned myself making tea, but now here I am, I'm like, this is really cool. Now moving along, the garden isn't the biggest, though there are many gardens in the UK pavilion, but they really did jam pack a ton of teas into this uh, experience, which we're about to see right now. For example, here we have the raspberry and hibiscus flavored herbal tea which has hibiscus, nettle, apple, anise, stevia, and raspberry. And that's called Heart Tea Plus, raspberry flavored hibiscus herbal tea. And there's our hibiscus marker. Moving along, we have our mango and pineapple flavored herbal tea with the pineapple, mango, ginseng, white hibiscus spearmint, and rose hips. That's what they called me in high school. Just kidding, I'm not rose hips. Adaptogens focused mango and pineapple flavored herbal tea. Now that sounds really refreshing. I, I feel like I might need to try some of these. Now this one here is really, really uh, tempting. We got the probiotics plus peppermint and fennel flavored herbal tea. Probiotics are fantastic for your digestive system. 
So this is definitely something you should give a try. I mean, I probably will. Peppermint, spearmint, and fennel. Fennel is fantastic for your body. We got cold infused watermelon and mint. These just keep getting better and better. They're really doing a great job with this. We got the red hibiscus, strawberry, watermelon, spearmint, beetroot, rose hips, and orange. That sounds amazing. Energizing matcha, cranberry, and lime flavored green tea. Oh, we got a bee. Oh my gosh, is that spike? All right, black tea, lime, and cranberry. And look at this, we have limes. That is amazing. I've always wanted to grow my own food. I am from New York City, so that's not exactly uh, the easiest thing to manage. This is the summer berry green tea, which consists of green tea, strawberry, blueberry, marigold, and Centauria cyanus. Don't know what that is, but it's beautiful. And here we have our blueberry plant. Don't see many blueberry. Oh, actually I do. Can to try and zoom in? We do have blueberries. That's amazing. All right, adaptogens detox, grapefruit and basil flavored green tea. So yeah, green tea, grapefruit, basil, peppermint, and milk thistle. Yeah, wow, look at that. Grapefruit growing right before our very eyes. This is fantastic. Right, here we have exotic mango and ginger green tea. The exotic mango and ginger green tea, which is green tea, mango, and ginger. So it's pretty much the same as the name. I wrote a poem. Now, I'm not the biggest mango fan, but I do love me some ginger and green tea, so I might have to give that one a shot too. I mean, I'm always down to try something at least once. And lastly, we have our jasmine green tea, which is pretty short and simple. You got green tea and jasmine. Yeah, the name pretty much sums it up. And this is where we find our Arabian jasmine. All right, y'all, so we have completed our self-guided tour. Normally, again, we have a pamphlet so we can keep track of all the teas, but did a lap around, we got them all. Now let's go inside and get our prize. All right, now we choose our prize, which is a really cute selection here. I get to choose any two. Now, so we got a turmeric tea, which is caffeine-free, orange and star anise flavored herbal tea sounds great then we also have our focus supports mental focus ginseng caffeine free mango and pineapple flavored herbal tea amazing and then we have an earl gray black tea which is pretty standard for a tea it has lavender so that's really relaxing and i think i've made my selection i'm going to go for the earl gray and the focus great y'all we got our prize we did the tour and you can too, and I totally recommend it. This is really exciting. I don't think these were even in the garden. So I'm really excited to try these out and they did a good job because I'm probably gonna buy the other ones. I really wanna try that uh, mango and ginger green tea, probably that other citrusy one. I don't remember the name. I'll have to look back on this video, but we got our prize, really excited. So definitely check it out. It's again at the UK Pavilion at Epcot. Go to the Tea Caddy, which is presented by Twinnings Tea London. And let me know your thoughts and let me know what teas you end up choosing. Which ones are your favorite from the entire experience? Thank y'all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell icon, and follow my Instagram at It's Mike Dallas. It's just It's and my name, Mike Dallas. Once again, thank you for watching Dallas in Wonderland.